my name is Melissa Hancock, and I'll be going over inspiration and expiration and the muscles involved. There are many processes that occur in respiration. The first of these processes is what I am covering. The first process is pulmonary ventilation. Ventilation is made up of two parts, inspiration and expiration. Inspiration is when air moves into the lungs from the atmosphere, and expiration is when air from the lungs moves outside into the atmosphere. When the lungs increase in dimension, the drop in pressure causes air to rush inside because gases flow down their pressure gradients. The same process occurs when the inspiratory muscles, the diaphragm and the external intercoastal muscles, are activated. When the diaphragm contracts, it moves downward and flattens out. Because of this movement, the superior inferior height of the thoracic cavity increases. When the external intercoastal muscles contract, the rib cage is lifted upward and the sternum is pulled upward as well. When the ribs are raised, they swing outward and this expands the diameter of the thorax. These actions increase thoracic volume by almost 500 milliliters. During inspiration, when the thoracic dimensions increase, the lungs are stretched and the intrapulmonary volume increases. As a result, the intrapulmonary pressure drops and air from the atmosphere rushes to fill the space. As the inspiratory muscles relax and resume their natural length, the rib cage descends and the lungs recoil. Because of this, both the thoracic and intrapulmonary volume decrease. As a result, the alveoli is compressed and the increase in intrapulmonary pressure forces gases out of the lungs and into the atmosphere. Forced inspiration or expiration during exercise is rather different. During forced inspiration, accessory muscles help to further increase thoracic volume. Some muscles, such as the scalenes or the sternocleidomastoid muscles of the neck and the pectoralis minor of the chest, raise the ribs even more during quiet inspiration. The back also extends as the erector spinae muscles straighten the thoracic curvature. Forced expiration is an active process produced by contracting abdominal wall muscles, primarily the oblique and the transversus muscles. These contractions increase the intra-abdominal pressure, which forces the abdominal organs upward against the diaphragm. The contractions in inter internal intercoastal muscles depress the rib cage, although the internal intercoastal muscles also help to decrease thoracic volume.